Hey guys, so I am at the World Congress of Hair Research um, and I was sitting here thinking about all of the medical treatments and procedural interventions that we have for hair loss and thought it might be a good idea to do a video about platelet-rich plasma. So platelet-rich plasma is a cosmetic procedure in which we inject the plasma from your blood into the scalp. And so when you undergo a platelet-rich plasma procedure, we spin your blood in a centrifuge for about 15 minutes and that separates your blood into a red part or packed red blood cells and a yellow part, which is the plasma. And the plasma contains growth factors that can help support hair regrowth. Now, the upside of having a treatment where we use your blood and inject it back into the scalp is that we don't have to worry about adverse effects like allergic reactions. But the potential downside is that when we're using something that's not a medicine, it's a little bit less predictable. And that's because everyone's plasma is slightly different. So your plasma is different than your sister's plasma or your neighbor's plasma. But we do find that platelet-rich plasma injections can be quite effective for a whole host of hair loss conditions. Most commonly pattern hair loss, so male and female pattern hair loss. So for a lot of my patients, I will perform platelet-rich plasma in addition to very standard medical treatments like oral minoxidil. We've also published a paper showing that it can be effective for certain patients with scarring alopecia. Usually when I use it for patients with scarring alopecia, I really focus on patients who would see a quality of life improvement if they got even a little bit of hair back. Additionally, we like to do it if we feel that the inflammation has calmed down and things have been pretty stable for several months. In my personal experience, I don't find it to be super helpful for other forms of hair loss like alopecia areata. For patients with alopecia areata, I think that the new class of FDA approved medications like JAK inhibitors tend to do a pretty good job. And a lot of times I'll couple that with minoxidil and we can get a pretty decent response in a majority of patients. Um, so platelet rich plasma therapy is also a reasonable option for people who cannot tolerate other medications. I do have a handful of patients who use use platelet-rich plasma therapy as their only medical intervention. And if they have plasma that's really great, it can be enough to do the job on its own. Um, and so if you've heard of platelet-rich plasma therapy, it is something to discuss with your board certified dermatologist. Also make sure that your dermatologist is well versed in hair loss conditions because it's going to be really important to make the right diagnosis to start so you understand the likelihood of you responding. Now I do you get that question, how often do I see a good response from platelet-rich plasma? I would say it's about 50-50. I've been doing platelet-rich plasma injections for almost 10 years now, um, and about half of the time patients will see an improvement, and the other half we see no change at all. I have not noticed any differences in response rates by race or gender. And so I've had patients who are in their 80s who respond really well, and I've had patients who are in their early 20s and haven't responded in any thing in between. Um, and so it's really one of those treatments that requires that you try it first before you can determine if it's a good treatment option. Typically, we treat patients with one treatment every four to six weeks for a total of three sessions. If someone is a responder, so let's say we do those three treatments and we see hair regrowth, then one single treatment is required every six months for maintenance. If we do not see any improvement after those three treatments, then I usually recommend that we don't pursue platelet-rich plasma further. If you have received platelet-rich plasma from one dermatologist and you're wondering if you should try it with someone else, that's actually a really good question. There are very there are many different types of platelet-rich plasma systems. Um, there are activated types of platelet-rich plasma and there are inactivated types. And what that activation refers to is whether or not the growth factors are released from the platelets before or after they're injected. I personally use a system where I activate the release of growth factors from the platelets 
before I inject it into the scalp. I have found that that works better for me, but depending on who you ask, people have different results. So sometimes if I see a patient who did PRP but didn't respond to an inactivated system, I will give it a try with my activated system. However, if they did not respond to an activated system, and certainly if they have used the exact same system that I've used, then I typically do not repeat and try to discuss other therapies. So that is my summary on platelet-rich plasma. I really hope it's been helpful. Um, I will have additional information about platelet-rich plasma on my website if you wanna check that out. Take care.